Hey guys, Dr. Bomb here from Bomb Braces. During this difficult time when we're not in the office quite as often, I thought I would take a moment and go over some of the things that can come up with a rocket expander and helpful tips how to recover. Alrighty guys, so this is one of my favorite appliances to use. It's called a rocket expander. Uh, if you have one, I've probably explained to you why I like it so much. It's kind of sleek in uh, design and fits comfortably behind the teeth. Uh, once we put it in, it stays in usually pretty securely and keeps working for a long period of time without needing too much adjustments. But, you know, there are some things that can come up with it, and I want to teach you uh, what you can do to help get yourself out of trouble or, or any mild discomfort. So this is a good-looking uh, rocket expander right here. The rings are securely fastened to the back teeth. It's fit really nicely, uh, and the two arms are nicely connected in the front. I'm going to bring one over here that's not doing quite as well. Uh, one of the things that could happen to these expanders or anything orthodontically is something could come loose. Uh, that's why we ask you to stay away from the sticky, chewy candy and gum. So one of the things is if a ring in the back, either one of these were to become loose, you might notice it when you're chewing that it slides up and down off of the, the tooth, uh, that it's not, it, it's not tightly glued on anymore and it slides around. So the solution there is pretty simple. Just reach in there, back of your mouth and kind of lift it up to get the ring to come off the back tooth. And once you remove that, um, you know, you're pretty good uh, in terms of safety. As long as the other side, just double check that, make sure that one's nice and secure. If you notice that this one's loose, then you wanna remove that one as well. The big goal here is to get yourself comfortable, but also to take anything out of your mouth that could potentially be a choking hazard. So if either of those rings are loose, you just slide them off and then do me a favor and keep the pieces of the expander someplace nice and safe. Maybe put them in a Ziploc bag and tuck them away until you're able to come back into the office. Uh, one of the other things that can happen with these expanders, and this is easier to show you uh, on the, the table here than on the model because the model's not flexible and forgiving like your mouth is, as these expanders uh, work, and again, let me just show you, it starts off nice and connected there, and the spring is slowly, slowly pushing apart, but as it keeps working, um, sometimes these expanders can start to separate in the front. The first thing you'll notice is instead of the arms being nice and parallel, that you'll start to see them kind of have a little angle to them, and that means they're on the verge of separating, and then eventually they might actually pop apart, and if that happens, you know, the spring could start sticking out a little bit, so when we look in your mouth, or when you look in your mouth, you may notice that the two arms are no longer tightly uh, connected and the spring is hanging a little bit loose. Again, the solution is to remove anything that's loose in your mouth. So in this case, we want to reach in there with your fingers or maybe a tweezers and just slide the spring right off of there. The spring is not directly connected. It just slides over that arm. So just slide the spring off and again, put the spring away someplace safe. And uh, that alone uh, will solve most of the problem. But the other thing that you can do if you're able to, if these arms are just slightly, slightly separated, uh, just tucking them back one inside the other makes it a little bit more comfortable. So you put the two back inside the arm and that way they stay nice and lined up. And uh, in terms of comfort, that should be the easiest and best way to stay until you're able to come back into the office for your next visit. So if you can get to that point, get the spring off, reconnect the two sides of the uh, expander, I think you'll be in good shape. Hope to see everybody soon. Bye-bye.